Hello, my name's Matt. And my name's Jordan. And welcome back to RuneScape and Minecraft. This is update 45, which is Alcrid Part 2. Um, in the last bit we've shown all this, so... In this bit we've been working mainly on the castle. I don't think this was here last time. And the bank. And the bank, well, the and the bit the, behind the, it as well, yeah. The uh, tower's definitely in the sky, whatever Yeah, now we've not finished this, of course. Basically what we did was when we brought it down, we then... We've heightened each floor. What well, Basically what we did is we moved the ceiling along with the top floor up five blocks and then we stacked it five blocks so that's why all these are repeated and stuff like that that's why they all look deformed and really bad we've not really worked on the castle much just the entrance and Joe did like the pool in the middle as well but other than that we've not done much on the castle the main yeah. part is really behind the castle and these two buildings we've got the bank then we've got this weird little building as well um and then we've added a few things here the main thing well, the main reason for those is it's not. It's like with everywhere else. We want this to be a survival games map, so we want to be able to get from building to building really quickly. So no, it's it is going to be a survival games map. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's yeah, that's why we've done it. So I did this thing in. It's one of those towers that I like building. It, it looks pretty good there. It's a bit out of place. Then we've got like a crane sort of thing coming outside of the bank with food on top of it, with melons and pumpkins and stuff. It's a bit of a stretch, but you know, it lets you get from. The top of this roof to that roof and back as well. You can well, you can go both ways, except you can't get on top again. You end up here if you want to go back again. But you know, there's probably loads of areas that we don't even know how to get up, but it just happens, and people may find them and yeah, probably be, even find a way out. Yeah, there'll be loads know. of ways you can get on top of the buildings that we won't have found yet. It'll be coolio. Yeah, the banks and tiers. Shown behind the thingy. Uh, no, yeah, I'm showing the inside of the bank first. So the end of chests are here because it's still a bank, but. There will be ways. There are ways to get on over the other side of it this way. It's not. There's going to be no secrets in the new Alcarid. So the, the three secrets that were here don't exist anymore. So you can get over the back. I might stash. You can back get over, over that's. You can get over to this side. You can get back as well, ladders of course. And Sweet. Then, I've not even seen the new. Uh, yeah, I've not interiored this floor yet because it's huge. I'm probably going to split it into rooms, but I was just crying when I saw that. Look at this. Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. So no. next floor. This is where it gets a little bit easier. I put a tree. There for some reason. Oh, it doesn't it's, matter. Who yeah, cares. it's it just really the, the, so there's vines there, lets you get up onto the next floor, and then I put those towers are the same ones as in the walls. And it just breaks up. I'm sure. Yeah, yeah, right. and then just sand as well. There's not really anything to put inside the inside this layer. There's not. Really, it's not really needed. And then coming up here, you've got the top floor, and that's the bank. That's... Also, super boring. Uh, um, I did the outside of oh, yeah, like the cool. river on both sides so that now you can climb up to Alcarid because it's pointless yeah so like originally it boring was, job yeah originally we made it so you couldn't swim across the river to get onto the side because that's how that's the Alcarid you had to go either through the toll gate or through that gate there I think but now that it's got a wall around it it's not really needed so we've let you get up there now yeah you know, hooray hooray tiny thing <laughs> And then, Have you done showing the snaky thing? No, no, we'll go around the back now. This is where we sort of like started making more stuff up. Um, George made hills, I made this like snake skeleton. Because we do want this, we want this to be an interesting survival games map after all. We don't want just this to be a crappy like sandy area. So this was my attempt at a snake skeleton. It's, you know, it, it'll do. I'm not, fully, <laughs> do. I'm not fully keen on the head. And oh, a water hole with the dam, that's a nice touch. The cock. Oh, yeah, yeah. Almost like a dam. Almost. Nice. It's very small. Um, also, something else. Um, Matt started it over there, and then I continued it. It's two blocks up on the um, oh, all yeah. the way round, so you can't. You can't because when it plays an adventure game, it'll be advent adventure mode, won't it? Yeah. So you can't punch out blocks, so there's no glitching up. So it's too high all the way round, so it looks like you can't get up. Yeah. But then. So apart from the it. castle as well, this is the only corner we've not done, so we're not going to show that yet. But like George said, we've stopped it. We've stopped you from being able to climb up there, but also on these as well. So when we do make this a survival games map, all we'll have to do is block out the three entrances, like block them off with just fence gates, or well, just fences to make like a big gate to look cool. Yeah. And also as well, down here, there's this ladder, and all we have to do is punch out that ladder, and it'll then be impossible to climb up over this hill, which I think is pretty cool to say because it looks like you could get out dead easily, but you Indeed. actually can't. There's no jumps you can make to be able to get up there, and there's no blocks that'll let you climb out. So that'll make it a pretty good survival games map because there'll be no glass walls around the outside because that was the one thing I hated. Also, if you teleport to me now because I'm in the desert, yeah, it is once again marginally done. Uh, I'm gonna expand this like hill a bit more so it oh, looks nice. a bit better because it, it does look a bit square at the moment. But 
it's, 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 semi, it's, not, it's not that bad. So well, I'm going to touch you up by hand and yeah. it'll look well. Nice. Looking back, uh, I'll come from here. It looks amazing. Well, yeah, I've also indeed. done the hill on the left hand side of where you are, and then yeah. the other side needs to be un like de flatified. So it's like hilly. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, I'm going to add in like all these little circles of water with sugar canes, cactus again. And then it should look more like a desert boom. Yeah, it's just, so. yes, to make it, oh, standing here looking all in the distance, like on the horizon, you can see the Alcarid walls and stuff. That it just feels good. more like a, like what what you'd imagine a desert city to be like, because it still would be vibrant. They wouldn't set up a city in the middle of nowhere, would they? No, yeah. Like they, like it used to, so it's really cool. But yeah. So that's that's near enough here, I'm sure. Yeah, the desert was the main thing. Like this deserty area was the main place we wanted to revamp anyway. Regardless of them changing Alcarid. Yeah. Because it I, I mean, I spied on it ages ago. Part. Yeah, easily was the worst part of the map. So, And it's becoming one of my favourite as well. And Alcarid is definitely my favourite city on the map at the moment. Oh yeah, I think it's awesome. Easily. Very, very, very But cool. this is part two. There wasn't actually that much to show. It was just, well... Information. Yeah, it was just and info, then showing really, it. And plans on what to do. Yeah, and that's basically it. So unless George's got anything else to say. Yeah. Nah, didn't think so. We'll see you in the next video, guys. <laughs>